So say you have a puppet like that, um, and you want it want to animate it like um, jumping and doing a flip or something like that. So let's let's set that up. Um, we'll have a timeline. Uh, now you might think you could just grab the puppet and move it around. So let's show what happens there. So uh, first he jumps kind of around like that. I'm just doing a simple example obviously. Let's make some empty ones. Okay and then the next one he'll be around even more and then I can use L1 left and L1 right to go between those on the same row and then whoa, and then I don't know this is getting crazy and then land okay and I'll L1X between those to give them a blend so now uh, we actually need uh, another empty one at the start um, you can have an empty keyframe and then it will blend between whatever it happens to be at the time to whatever the actual stored keyframe is. So, uh, doing a flip, job done. And then, yeah, you can just leave it at that point. Um, so let's up to speed because that's probably really slow if I just play it. Yep. A little bit crazy. Okay, so people might do that, and then say, "Well, I want to want that front flip to happen when I press square, and it will play through once." So then I play, and I press square, and it goes, "Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Perfect." Then I go over here, and it goes, "Oh, oh, 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 well, oh, that's not what I wanted." The problem is um, the scope. So, um, so these keyframes were are on this object here group. Um, the scope that that group is in, it doesn't have a containing group, so it's within the whole scene. So then, the position that it stores is the position within the whole scene. Um, now you can fix it. Uh, uh, I'll actually make a real example so I can show you how to fix it after the fact, which isn't still isn't ideal, but um, so say you have a square thing. Um, I'll just put a mover on it so that it moves around. So it's going to move over there, and um, then I'll. Uh, just animate it. Uh, yeah, it starts off like that, and then jumps, and then lands, and you have a blend. Okay, and then we'll just use a switch to actually run that through. Set it to play. So um, let's say that wasn't there, then I play it and it works fine. Um, but then if I have it running, then when I go like that, it goes back to where it was every time. Now if we um, tweak this, if we um, give this a scope that it's within, then it will then those stored positions will be within that scope instead of in the whole scene. So now if I, uh, quickest way of doing that is just add a chip because it doesn't doesn't cost much uh, 
thermo tool and I just uh, group those and then I put the mover on there then play it so if I just have it um, I'll turn this off and we can see if this works that works fine from there if I have it moving and that works fine that's because um, within this uh, group it has those positions saved so uh, so if I were to move this over here then that position is up a bit within that group whereas um, out here um, oh, if I just ungroup that I'm still group for some reason um, if I snap that to there or just delete it um, now even if this was positioned differently it would go back oh no it doesn't go back interesting um, but yeah the that kind of group trick um, can get you out of a spot of trouble but it's still not ideal because then uh, if you keep doing that you just have layers and layers of groups for all your different animations and it gets real messy um, so the better way of doing it so okay uh, the better way of doing it is to just put it in a in a uh, group to begin with so then you have your chip or whatever most of the time your character will have will be in some sort of group anyway um, but now if I if I had some controls in here or something it would make sense um, but if this is affecting the whole group then then you can have this in here oh there you go um, and grab a switch as before and you can imagine this is activated by some controls or something um, so then uh, that would work properly from the get-go and then just make sure when you make a new um, animation uh, to just to always like actually scope in and then move it around in the group instead so now if we um, turn that off and apply that to our our front flip craziness um, Oh, that's getting a bit weird. Okay, so um, yeah, basically we don't want any of those to work the way they did. So let's just press triangle. There you go. And then I'll skip in, and I'll like select all by double double tapping the pelvis. Um, and then do some animation stuff. This is what you come to the stream for. Animation tips. <laughs> uh, I'll do. And we'll, we need um, a blank keyframe again. And at the end. So now, hopefully, so I press square and it does the thing where it does the thing because it's within that group so the, the puppet itself the puppet group itself doesn't move when you while doing that just the um, the actual puppet does there you go. 